Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everybody. It's me, your host, Muhammad Mitwelli. And today, with the scale 58 of distinguishing between make and do, but before we go, we have to read this introduction about the problem with usage. In English, certain groups of words have similar uses, and these words are sometimes confused in written expression questions in the TOEFL test. Although various usage problems are possible on the TOEFL test, the following problems are the most common. 1. When to use make and do and 2. When to use like, unlike and alike and 3. When to use other, another and others. Let's go with the first one. Skill 58. Distinguish make and do. Make and do can be confused in English because their meanings are so similar since the difference between make and do is tested. On the TOEFL test, you should learn to distinguish them. Make often has the idea of creating or constructing. The following expressions show some of the possible uses of make. She likes to make her own clothes. Would you like to make a cake for dessert? If you make a mistake, you should correct it. He was unable to make a response to the threat. Do often has the idea of completing or performing. The following expressions show some of the possible uses of do. This morning she did all the dishes. The students are doing the assignments. The janitor. The janitors did the work they were assigned. You can do your laundry at the laundromat. These are only some of the uses of make and do. Many uses of make and do are idiomatic and therefore difficult to classify. Exercise 58. Each of the following sentences contains make or do, circle make or do, draw arrows to the noun they complete the expressions, then indicate if the sentences are correct C or incorrect I. 3. No matter what job she has, she always makes her best. Makes. This is the verb here and talks about the word best. And you don't make the best, you do the best. So three is incorrect. Four, the runner did a strong effort to increase her speed in the mile race. As you can see here, I have the main verb did and talks about a strong effort. The strong effort is not something you do to perform it, it's something you build it from the beginning. It wasn't their effort and then you make it. So it should be make strong effort, not do strong effort. Because it's all a creation of yours. So it's incorrect. 5. It's comforting to think that your work can make a difference. Make a difference. Yes, that's a dramatic actually. So it's correct. 6. His grade was not very good because he hadn't done his homework. So, hadn't done to do your homework. Yes, it's expression, so it's correct. Seven. In this job, you will make more money than in your previous job. To make money, it's correct. Not to do it, of course, because it's not a performance and it's also an idiomatic expression. So, it's correct. Eight. He was unable to do dinner because no one had done the lunch dishes. Do dinner. You don't do dinner. You make dinner. Because before you make dinner, there had been no dinner. So you create it from scratch. So it's make dinner. It's incorrect. 9. It's a pleasure to work with someone who always makes the right thing. Make the right thing. You don't make the right thing, you do the right thing, because the right thing is already there, you just perform it, you just follow it, that's it, you haven't created it, so it's incorrect, do the right thing. 10. If you make good impression at your job interview, you will get the job. Make impression, it's all yours, it's all your creation, so it's something you make, that's good, and it's also an expression altogether. So this sentence is correct. I hope you like it. Try to memorize as many expressions as you can that contains 
uh, do and make after that I think it's gonna be easy for you to distinguish both of them take care of yourselves and see you next scale until we meet goodbye